Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. I am Surya EC final year and I am here to talk about my experiences at EC and at Uvarangal and I, uh, I am very much interested in doing new projects and I also worked on many and I would like to transfer the super excitement that I have towards electronics to you guys so that you guys can uh, maybe be more motivated and work on more projects. So uh, let me start by talking about how I define electronics. I look at electronics as a medium through which you can transfer your innovative or creative thoughts to uh, a huge number of audience. You know, uh, you have the power of affecting billions of lives through just your innovation and uh, electronics makes it also possible. You have these wonderful ideas which you can program into a small microchip and it can go into uh, everyone's home and affects everyone's life in a drastic way. Okay, um, before getting into what we do here at EC and IT Warangal, let me start uh, about electronics in general. So, uh, this small phone which I have in my pocket, it is a, a million times less costly, a million times smaller and a thousand times more powerful than uh, a 60 million dollar uh, half a building size supercomputer which was at Stanford University 40 years back. So you can see that in 40 years half, si half a size of building comes down to palm sized small device and uh, going at the space it seems quite intuitive that maybe in the next 40 years we would have brain cell sized devices which can go and directly interact with our neutrons. And what happens further is just left to our imagination. And uh, with respect to the communication technology, a small kid in Africa right now has better communication technology than the US president uh, 40 years ago. So uh, everything is going, uh, going up at a very fast rate. Now uh, coming to what we do here at NIT Warangal, uh, let me tell you a, a few projects so that that might motivate you to work more. Let me start with signal processing. Um, in signal processing when I'm uh, talking like this you you can hear the sound right. So uh, with signal processing what you can do is filter out this sound this noise with absolutely no loss. You know, you can filter out the sound and listen to my voice clearly. Now if I'm talking and there is uh, a car horn which is louder than my voice but still uh, by using some good image processing techniques you can filter out the noise completely and uh, complete my uh, reconstruct my signal and that is really cool and coming to the uh, most interesting part which I love, uh, love the most uh, to work on is image processing you know you can see people like us you know we have eyes and we look at the world through our eyes and if we want to make a robot that has to look at the uh, look at the uh, world we should give it some eyes and we give give the robot eyes through the form of camera and what comes from the camera is a series of images and you can process this images to uh, get some useful information so um, these set of images that you get you can process them and this field is called image processing and it is a really cool and uh, ascending field right now uh, you know it's like it has all these cutting edge techniques coming up um, so with image processing what you can do is you can make a robot that could maybe avoid people and walk around the uh, walk along corridor so you can do things like that you can do handwriting recognition. Look at this paper. My handwriting literally sucks. But if you train, if you train the computer with, you know, my handwriting and all, and you give it this same piece of shit, this, this bad handwriting which I have, it's going to do a lot better than uh, anyone else would do, any human brain would do. So computers are uh, really growing up, artificial intelligence, information technology, and this, uh, fields are coming together and there's some great things happening. Next, um, let me talk about few electronics projects that you could do. 
First, let me start by talking about home automation. You know, you could automate appliances in your home, the TV, the the lights, the fans, everything through uh, through internet, through mobile, through Bluetooth, you know, um, through a remote, normal remote, like you control your TV and the, the applications are just everlasting. They just keep growing and you could have intelligence sensors at your home, which could count the number of people walking in and walking out. You know, it's all good. This all happens through electronics and we are not talking about some sci-fi technology here. Uh, each and every project that we're talking about here can be done in the course of your BTEC. You know, it's not like hi-fi stuff. Trust me, it is far more easy than, than you can ever imagine. Next, you could make from fingerprint, uh, fingerprint scanners outside your uh, classroom so that attendance can be taken through the fingerprint scanners. You could make automated door locks um, and the applications just keep going on and on. And let me share another very interesting idea with you. You can build a circuit that can play games on your mobile. Yes, without hacking into the hardware, you know, you can just build an external circuit which could play games on your phone. You know, games like Flappy Bird and Piano Tiles. And we actually, we in fact did a project on Piano Tiles and it could play better than many humans in few modes. And it could break some world records. You know, one of my friend had a high score of 182 in arcade mode and this circuit played it on forever. So, uh, it is just so cool. And next, you know, you can also play games like Flappy Bird. You know Flappy Bird, right? It's so irritating and it's so hard to play. So if you can actually build a circuit, an intelligent circuit that could play uh, games like Angry Birds, that would be so cool. Next, um, there are many other projects you can work on, like computer networks, how your um, data goes to Facebook in just uh, a fraction of a second about optical fibers, microwaves, radar, sonar, so many things. The applications just go on and on. And let me share uh, the most interesting idea of this night, which is you can build a phone before you leave an ID Warangal. A phone? Yes, you heard me right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You can build your own phone. A phone like Nokia 1100. You know Nokia 1100, right? It's the most basic model of Nokia, which, you know, doesn't break and all. So you can build a circuit. Uh, you can build a mobile before you go out of college. And trust me, it's not as hard as it sounds. It just needs few uh, connecting the components in an intelligent way and then uh, programming the microcontroller in the right way. And it is certainly not as hard as you would intuitively think it is okay and that's all for now i mean um that's be, it's been a great night and i'm uh, it was great sharing my projects with you and um before i sign off let me tell you about my youtube channel um, I have a YouTube channel where I upload basic tutorials. Now, after this presentation, you would come and ask me, where do I start? And uh, my answer would be, you can start by looking at the tutorials on my YouTube channel. I have a tutorial series called Base Building Electronic Circuits, and I think it is pretty good. Anyone with basic um, knowledge of electricity will be able to go through the tutorials and understand most of it. And I worked on it for weeks and the quality of the tutorials is pretty good. So I think you must have a look at it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel when, uh, you know, um, when you come there because I I'm coming up with some more tutorials, some more very, very interesting tutorials. So uh, it would be great um, if you can subscribe so that you keep getting notifications of my channel. And um, yeah, that's it for now. It's It's been great talking to you. Goodbye.